not your father. Then stop pretending to be. Oh, that face. He's, yeah. Boy, he got a lump in his throat. Yeah. He's, trying to, he's trying to hold that back. Because mm -hmm. you know he wants to say, well, your bitch ass can get your <laughs> shit and move out. Now, how'd you like that? But he ain't that kind of dude. Yeah, you know what? With great power comes great responsibility. Be responsible for your own self. Get on out of here. Everybody talking about how they've been hanging out in that multiverse of madness out there. The multiverse, it's dangerous. I could use an Avenger. Enter a world. Shit's about to get real. But, you know, let's not forget, y'all, that this is uh, for the director of the multiverse of madness. This is, a, this, is, this is a huge moment for him. This is a double time to celebrate. Not only does he have one of the biggest movies so far of this year, to no surprise of anyone out there. But also, this man can also be celebrating. Ooh, he up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to go hard. Because this is the 20th anniversary. Ooh, y'all are feeling old right now. Ooh, some people just crumble to dust right now. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> this is the 20th anniversary of another classic superhero movie. Some people say this is the one that kind of rebooted some things out there. It's no longer an option. She always screaming her ass off. You know, she's well, she always does. getting attacked. Yeah. <laughs> if you get that, if, if you get attacked that much, stay your ass in the house. <laughs> hey, it's New York, baby. It happens to everybody. It happens to everybody, yeah. Yeah. At one point, all of us will be Mary Jane if we're in New York. <laughs> But, people, that is Spider-Man 2002. Yes, people, it has been 20 years since that movie came out. Wow. Believe me, I said that about 50 times today. It's been 20 years? <laughs> yeah. 20, it's been 20 years? Yeah, man. It, and, you know, some people say, man, the thing is with this movie, at least from what I remember, this is a movie that's so good. Of course it's been 20 years because when a movie this good, time just flies. You know, I've just been watching this movie every year and didn't even know because it's one of my favorite superhero movies out there. And then there's some people out there who say, yeah, man, yeah, you got damn right. It's been 20 years and, and it shows. <laughs> you know, some things, some things just don't age gracefully all the time. Maybe halfway, maybe, you know, about 75%, but not, you know, man, you know, it ain't as good as you remember, all right? Settle your ass down. And then some people say, yeah, well, nothing ages gracefully or... Things change. Mm -hmm. You gotta look at it. You can't look at it in these new, with these with these 2022 eyes. You gotta look at it at back in the frame of mind when you were young mm -hmm. and just ready to be entertained. Just happy to have a good Spider-Man movie right here. Well, we're here to talk about where we stand on this. I will tell you that since I watch movies so much, and you know, that's part of what we do, I, I don't get to watch things twice all the time. And it's been a while since I've seen, I've seen this movie a few times, but it's been years. It has been years since I've seen Spider-Man yeah, yeah, uh, 2002. Yeah, yeah, man. So, I think I come, I'm coming in here with, uh, with some fresh eyes, while also keeping a very, very clear mind of when this movie was made and the time period that it existed in. Um, also, just to be very transparent here, um, when I saw Spider-Man, 2002 at the time uh, I liked it I liked it a lot but you know thinking about it further I was I was thinking okay it's not it's not the perfect superhero movie I look at this movie like this um, and I'm just going I'm just gonna tell you how I feel about it right now kind of put my you know feelings up front I look at it kind of like Batman yeah. Tim Burton's Batman mm -hmm. where Listen, man, uh, Tim Burton's Batman had a lot of problems, mm -hmm. all right? If you really, really go in, I mean, from the character itself of Batman to just some production stuff that happened with it, sure. you know, it's a movie that you can sit up there and, and definitely, definitely call out the flaws on, but just because of what it achieved, it's still pretty awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I have, like, maybe some major criticisms about this Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2002, but just keep in mind, if doesn't, I'm not complaining for the, just the sake of conversation. I'm just going to point out what I think works and what doesn't work. But at the end of it all, 
I highly respect this film. Sure. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would say, you know, um, I know you've probably said this too, Martin. Spider-Man and probably X-Men, they're like the fathers of the modern-day superhero mm-hmm. film. We wouldn't mm. have gotten things like Iron Man or The Dark Knight without yes. this movie. Yeah. And it succeeded a number of ways, and it also <coughs> tripped in a number of ways. Yeah. Blade was the grandfather, because yeah. that was one where we were like, oh, you, you took this seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a, you know, a coherent movie. Uh, and certainly X-Men was a, a step, but this is that movie where... This was the most, uh, the, the, the strongest attempt at being comic book accurate. You know, people appreciate it when you got somebody who recognized the source, who really did try to think about the fans first. Who was I mean, a fan. Who, was, who loved who was and appreciated the character. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, watching this, you go like, Sam Raimi was a fan of Spider-Man. But I look at the things that they did, and I was like, damn, boy, you were on point with that. And having said that, certain characters, yes, other things, I ain't give a fuck less about. Is, <laughs> let's just go ahead, and I don't mean to start out on negative here, but damn, this is how they begin the movie, y'all, and it's glaring. Let's just let's just go ahead and just put it out there. One thing that didn't that it don't work now, but didn't work back then. It's very obvious now because everybody calls it out now, yeah. and the recent Spider-Man movies actually kind of fixed this in a way. They addressed it. They addressed it, but one of the things that looks even crazier now. So Spider-Man, when we meet him, he's nerdy Peter Parker who goes to high school with other high school kids that look nothing like high school students. It looks this, this high school students. Yeah, high school. <laughs> and put them quotes up high in finger quotes. Not one of these kids on this bus looks like a high school student. It looks like a bus. It almost looks like, like the city bus. It, look, it, looks like, it looks like a bus full of college students. <laughs> They even they, they they scared to look at the camera because they know they're too old to be playing this like, role. Yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Mary Jane might be kind of close, but uh, what's a his Joe name? Manginello. Joe Manganiello. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Manganiello. He looked like a goddamn thirty-five year old a, a pizza shop well, owner. Well, he, look, he looks like he's in high school because he's flunked out a lot. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Yeah. How many times you flunked? He ain't been held back about a decade. About a decade. What you flunked fifteen times, <laughs> sir? What are you doing on this bus mm. of all these children? <laughs> And I don't know what the hell was going on with this casting department right here, but the one person that actually looks like a high school student is the teacher. No wandering. Proceed direct. Knock it off. He looks, he looks so young, he looks like a black Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Until he started actually kind of disciplining people, and people start like, he's, he's, he's going up to like the biggest, meanest bullies in school and got them scared. What's daddy gonna do? Sue me? What is going on? Look, he shut the fuck oh, up. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and grab Flash, too. <laughs> fuck y'all doing? I told y'all to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he, he zipped his mouth. <laughs> the next person who talks will fill this course. I'm like, okay, he's holding it down. And, and what, like I said, they are scared of this dude. Now, the way, because he. <laughs> Because he not only is a, an authority figure, but he just rolls. Like you saw, you, you saw the way he grabbed Flash. Yeah. He just in the background waiting to, waiting to roll up on people. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody. To <laughs> He's waiting to grab somebody. So you got uh, uh, you got Harry Osborn right there flirting with uh, Mary Jane, and uh, and my man, he rolls up on them real quick. He rolls up on them, tell him shut the up real quick. You were talking throughout that woman's entire presentation. Let's go talk about how we listen. Mm. <laughs> 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 like he's about to take him off and beat his ass. <laughs> 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 Let's take a trip around the corner real quick. <laughs> I looked at the way he came in and swooped down on people, being all threatening. People, you were talking throughout that woman's entire presentation. I thought, like, all right, you know, it's like either he, either he's a student with a lot of power, or he's the biggest bully in school. <laughs> like everybody's scared of him. Like he, 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 you know, kung fu or some shit. <laughs> Everyone flinches. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Shit, like, like this is a racist school, and everybody thinks he's in a gang or Listen, something. Listen, I didn't want to bring the racist, but they're like, oh, black guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this. There's not many black people in this movie. <laughs> no. There's not. So they probably think he's part of the Crips or the Bloods or some shit. Yeah. I tell you what, though, Tobey Maguire. Great casting. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the thing when it was announced that he was going to be cast as Peter Parker. I, that was, a, that was the first moment I got excited about this. I was like, wait, the idea that you would cast this guy 
who's not some CW punk or, mm. or just a Hollywood hunk, not, not Leonardo DiCaprio, but somebody who looks that part like a nerdy kid. I was like, this, whoever's doing this is taking this seriously. Yeah, the thing is, he, he's the one that feels like a teenager. He's the one that looks like a teenager. He, he, everyone else makes him look young. <laughs> you know what? Everyone else yeah. ages him down. Yeah. And it's maybe because they make him so nerdy. Maybe that makes him uh, makes him look younger because everybody hates Peter. Even the bus driver bullies this dude. That's me. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> As I look at this, I'm like, you know what? I When somebody hates somebody this much, maybe they did something. Maybe Peter deserves to get picked on. You know, maybe we don't see the asshole side of him. Or maybe he's just that annoying because everybody hates Peter, man. I'm like, what did this kid do? To make a whole st- a whole borough of New York hate his ass. Thank you. Sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and w- also listen to this, y'all. When when they when he actually does catch when the when the guy because Mary Jane said, "Look, stop. All right, Mary Jane is the only friend because she feels sorry for him." But she's like, "Stop the bus." When they have to stop the bus, everybody on the bus is yeah. like, "Oh man, spoiled our fun. Spoiled our fun." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Highlight oh. of our day right here. You ruined it, MJ. Hey, I, Jesus. Yeah, I, I hate to pull a page from the Chris Herman book, but kids can be assholes. They can be assholes. Oh, yeah. true. oh yes, cruel. they can. Well, Gotta teach morality. There's a, there's a lesson right there. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to lie. I, I, th- I think people kind of beat up Peter because Peter's not only awkward, but Peter's kind of creepy. I, mm. I, saw, I saw that one scene where he's taking those pictures oh, of Mary J. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me gonna jack out those pictures, oh, lady, you know oh, that? Oh, no doubt. Yeah. There's no paper. You saw we like, yeah. for the yeah, paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna. Ain't nobody looking up for pictures of Mary Jane. She ain't got nothing to do with that story. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the stuff, right that, there. That spider ruined his afternoon. <laughs> yeah, <it sure> did. <laughs> Get other plans that evening. <laughs> yeah, the casting is what kind of think for a lot of people makes this movie en- endure, man, because it's so oh, yeah. connected yeah. to the comics. Like if you have fun memories of the comics and the major characters, the way they were cast, so close to what we remember in the original comics, that makes this endure to this day, man. You know, I think this Spider-Man and maybe some of the other Spider-Man, Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, at least one and two, I think they have some of the best casting out of all the recent Spider-Man movies, maybe besides Tom Holland. But we're talking about, you know, the rest of the crew. Mm-hmm. Physically accurate. Yeah, physically accurate. Mm-hmm. Now, however, not, you know, not everyone was that way. They took some, you know, they all these movies have taken liberties with a certain character, uh, except for one particular film. But Flash Thompson has always been kind of up and down, you know. Yeah. Shit mm-hmm. like in in uh, in the Tom Holland Spider Man, they they didn't even want to get the race right. They, he wasn't. <laughs> shit, he wasn't even a bully. He was, he's yeah. just an asshole. Yeah, 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 he's just an asshole. Yeah, he's just an asshole. <laughs> like 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 Peter Parker before Spider Man could have beat his ass. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Right, right. To, that, to, what's his name? Uh, uh Tony Revolori. Tony Revolori. Rev- 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 yeah. 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 It's almost like he went like, well, cyberbullying's the thing now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, they, they, they updated him. That's mm-hmm. cool. That's cool. Probably yeah. the one that uh that was the most accurate i will say is not in the sam raimi movies uh it's in the amazing spider-man uh this guy uh chris zyke uh zilka chris zilka yeah he looks the most like flash from the yeah, comics he but. looks yeah he looks like flash from the com- comics who you know was a big bully there too the the big blonde jock yeah uh so that guy's probably the closest that they have right but he was there. giving peter a, a, a prison beat down. he's a psychopath and, and, yeah and that, and that never happened in the comics yeah. that no that was <laughs> Mm. No, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, yeah, we say psychopath. He's a psychopath, yeah. Bad, yeah. But outside of that, a lot of these characters are spot on, man. Yeah. You know, needless to say, Kirsten Dunst, Mary, Mary Jane, you know, that, that was right on point, mm-hmm. man. Uh, but Aunt May, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Rosemary yeah. Harris, she's a great Aunt May. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I tell you, man, I can, uh, you know, I can look at a, uh, I can look at sexy Aunt May all day long. Yeah. I can. Marissa yeah. Tomei, yeah. shit. I, I, had no, I had no complaints right my when they cast there. I was like, yeah, let's, let's get a freshman up in here, man. Freshman. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> but uh, in the 2002 Spider-Man, uh, Aunt May and Uncle Ben, man, they, they, the casting for that, Rosemary Harris and... Uh, Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. He was so good. 
Yeah. He's, he's yeah, amazing in here, man. Those two were I mean, first of all, they're great actors. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. physically, they they mm -hmm. they they hit their mark, man. Uh and just, know, just, yeah, just them being veteran actors, what they brought to it. Yeah. A you, lot of gravitas. Yep. You know, the uh, Rosemary Harris, uh, when you look at her, she, you know, she's not as, she's not as frail as mm -hmm. the Aunt May in the, in, in, in the comics, but shit, man, if you, if you were to, like, get it that on, on point or get it that accurate, you'd have to get, like, a fucking skeleton of the Crypt Keeper or something <laughs> right? like that, you know? It's, it's like, so they, they got as close as they yeah. could without being scary, you sure, know? Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, everybody knows Uncle Ben is going to be gone. Right. And, he um, makes such an impact for the little time he's on screen mm -hmm. yeah. that even knowing he's going to die when it does, it's just, it's a, it's a gut punch. It, it is, something. man. And I'm telling you, this dude knew he was going to die in the movie. Mm -hmm. Cliff Robertson, he's like, well, shit, I'm going to give him my all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to win Academy Award for <laughs> <Yeah>. Spider-Man. <laughs> so, shit, when I'm gone, y'all can say Academy Award winning Spider-Man. Never happened. <laughs> but my man was aiming out there. And I got to tell you, I was uh, I was not convinced when he first came on. Because when he first came on, him and uh, him and, uh, and Aunt May, they like to talk about ass a lot. Just don't fall in your ass. <laughs> I'm already on my ass, mate. I am on my ass. Well, I've been trying to give you this ass all day. You ain't, like, where you gonna take this ass hey, off, man, man? That just confirms that old people they still fuck too. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah. love each yeah. other. <laughs> Shit, those frogs thought he was gonna go there and grab some ass. Uh, man, that made me more yeah. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everybody, you know, everybody, when they see Uncle Ben, they know he's in the movie and they know the comics and everything. Everybody's waiting on the responsibility talk. Everybody's waiting on the the, the great power speech. Remember, with great power. Great responsibility. You know, before we got sick of that shit. Yeah. Now at this point, he'd be like, "With great, yeah, 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 we know. We got yeah, it, man. Yeah, we got it, man. Yeah. Man, he was dropping knowledge before he even got to that point. Mm -hmm. He was putting it out there for Peter with his Peter with his bitches. See, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about with Peter. Thanks for the ride, Uncle. Oh, man. wait a minute. Well, we can talk later. Well, we can talk now. What? A oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm like. All right, that's why you get your ass beat, man. Have all those weird experiments. And Room, <laughs> yeah, experiment. Yes. Yeah, experiment. <laughs> He's trying to say you jack off a lot. Yeah. It's, co it's coded uh, yeah. language. You got to read into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, I'm trying to be nice here, Peter. These are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become the rest of his life. So y'all ain't listening, man. I know. Yeah. I know. Great he was dropping that wisdom before we even got to great power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's completely on Peter's side. He's like, I'm yep. not even accusing you. I just want you to talk. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that, that kid you beat up, I, I'm sure he deserved it. He was if being he, fair. Yeah. He said, he just, man, just watch what you do. He's like, you know, because you can, you, can, you, can, you can end up being like him mm -hmm. if you go too far. You start taking it too, you know, you start getting a big head about it, and then you'll be the bully. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help you, boy. <laughs> And what? And of course, he has to pull that bitch move. Like, Man, Ooh, you ain't my real daddy. Oh. <laughs> this dude over here. This is see. This it only, it only makes it sadder. Now, this yeah. is a great thing yeah. about the movie. Like they, there's a, there's a lot of great lines, people. And I didn't recognize this when I saw the movie the first time, first mm. few times. There's a lot of great lines besides that great power responsibility stuff, yeah. Yeah. where it makes it has such an impact on what's going on later. You know, forget that. Think about what he's saying. Think about. Peter's reaction to that. I know I'm not your father. Then stop pretending to be. Oh, that face. He's, yeah. Boy, he got a lump in his throat. Yeah. He's trying to he's trying to hold that back. Because mm -hmm. you know he wants to say, well, your bitch ass can get your <laughs> shit and move out. Now, how'd you like that? But he ain't that kind of dude. <laughs> he had a Corey Coleman father. Yeah. I would have thought, yeah, I would have like, well, you know what? You can get your shit and get out if I ain't your father. Who's been a, bi who's been a father of your bitch ass this whole time? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you know what? With great power comes great responsibility. Be responsible for your own fucking self. Get on out of here. <laughs> Remember, great power, bitch. <laughs> Man, see, and that's what I—that's what I'm talking about. That's why that bus driver got his ass running five blocks down the street. Because of that bullshit, right? I told y'all that he does he something. He knew. Man. He knew. Think about this. If it was just them highlighting. The great power comes great responsibility line. What happens next would not really have that much of an impact. Yeah. 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 That, that death scene mm. that yeah. they have here, this is why we don't need any more origin stories. We don't need to see another Uncle Ben no. speech right here because, man, this, they this, nailed it. this mm -hmm. did it right here. It was so sad. And you hit it earlier today. Uncle Ben dying after he got shot mm -hmm. after the whole wrestling incident. Yeah. So for those of you who know the story, of course, you know, uh, Peter tries to go and 
as Spider-Man, he goes and earns mon money uh, in a wrestling match because now he's got his powers. He can take on big dudes. Gets stiffed on the money from uh, the guy that's running it. Uh, somebody comes in and robs the place. Guy's running out, and Peter's just like, not my job. Fuck and the guy's you, like, yeah. Like, and I hey, look, I ain't going to lie. Peter actually... He was kind of the right. He, no, not kind of the right. He was very much in the right. That's what makes it so tragic is that everything he does, you can't fault him for that. Yeah. The guy tells him, you're going to earn your $3,000, and doesn't even give him $2,000. Give him $1,000. Yeah. Give him $100 and tell him, you lucky to get this. Now get the fuck out of my yeah. office. <laughs> <laughs> it's that Parker guilt he has that Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But somebody treated you like that, and they're like, hey, I got robbed. And you're like, hey, it's not... It, it, even if you paid me, it is not my job to stop a robber. Mm -hmm. And then again, you're afraid, like, man, you could have done something. I'm like, fuck yeah, you. you. Yeah, you could have done something, too. You could have paid me my money. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> But that, that one moment of being, you selfish. know, selfish, he pays for it. Yeah. And that's what that's the real tragedy of all that. Yeah. No, that's, and it's a great scene, too, man. I love it. Is. Cause just even, even the moment when he's saying it, if you know the story, you watch it, and you're just like, Oh, God damn it. Here yeah. It and there's no, you couldn't have known. This isn't no, fair. It's not his fault. He carries that guilt with him everywhere. And he, does, yep. he, he didn't know. I mean, if any of us had got stiff like that, we would have all done the same mm -hmm. thing. Stop it! He's got my money! What the hell's the matter with you? You let him go. Cut him you the cop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I let him go. Yeah. That's your job. <laughs> Lay out them donuts and ham sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. You could have called yourself. Now he's going to get away with my money. I missed the part where that's my problem. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. Even then, I was yeah. like, you tell him, Peter. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, man. Who would have known? But I tell you, wow, even, I mean, he had no way of knowing. But that death scene had such a great impact. And and uh, Eric Robinson. Is Cliff, Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. Him, I got the name all wrong. Cliff Robinson, man, he nails his death scene because yes. he's, it's not that he's the Given one last word, you know, nope. where it's like, remember Peter, what I said about great response. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he's like, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's yeah. like, Peter, Peter. He doesn't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it so sad and why Peter feels even more guilty than you are. Yeah, does. right, yep. right. Because you think about how many movies would clumsily have that with mm -hmm. great power comes great responsibility. Highlight that. Yeah. But it's downplayed. It's part of just everything else that's being said. Yep. Yeah. And even the death is down, you know, it's. It's not overblown. It's not like no. we gotta highlight this, but you take it all in. It's, You're an adult. You take yeah, it all in and it, go, "Wow, this is so much more impactful." It's not heroic. It's actually pretty sad. And, and, and looking at this this guy dying, who had to hear the last words from this kid he cared about, is you ain't my daddy. It just it hurts, man. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he went out not knowing what to say. He yep. didn't have, he didn't have sure. any. When, they, when we talk about, because I think it's corny when you have these movies where they give you these these great last mm -hmm. these monologues. These, these, yeah, these these closing monologues before they die. And this dude was just like, Peter, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what to say. He just wants to be held and shake. Because so. you didn't know, I mean, you didn't know if he was thinking like, Peter, uh, I love you, or mm. Peter, I'm scared, or yeah. Peter, you a bitch. You, know, you, didn't, <laughs> you didn't know what he was thinking at all, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. And was, then you know you put yourself in as, as Peter and go, what was the last conversation I had with him? Yep. Yep. This guy took care of me my whole life, and then the last thing I said to him was the shittiest thing I could have said. It's funny though. That's the irony of it. Like Peter would not be yes. the Spider Man that he is. Yeah. Oh, if, not, if, if, mm -hmm. if this dude hadn't died on him like that, Peter might have become a monster. You would have been if, a villain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ain't my problem. Yeah, he had all this pent up anger out the way yeah. the world treated him. Yep. So yeah. he had all this power. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. with the temptation that the Green Goblin put out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. Let's tear this city apart. Let me show you how the real world works, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get my lean on it. As much as I love what they did with uh, Aunt May and uh, Uncle Ben, continue with casting, uh, w one of my favorite characters is the one that I was looking forward to. Even at the time, I said, this is the guy that I can't wait to see on screen when I get there. Now, big respect to what the MCU is doing with J. Jonah Jameson, man. I like that they updated him. And they I like they brought back the same a actor right here, uh, J.K. Simmons, man. But as much as I love those Spider-Man movies that uh, uh, MCU's putting out there, they cannot top what, what, what Spider-Man did, 2002 Spider-Man, what they did with getting comic book accurate J. Jonah Jameson, mm -hmm. man. They nailed that guy. Uh, I mean, if, if you were to ask me how to make them, if I was 
going to make a movie about Spider-Man, I would have done it. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson, yeah. I would have done it just like just they like did that, right yeah. there. Yeah, he, uh, everything from the bossy attitude, you know, the, 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 the demeanor that he has over his employees to being cheap, to being uh, uh, grumpy. To just being really funny. Yeah. I mean, because they yeah. did that in the cartoons, too, with oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy encompassed the comics and the cartoon and everything that I grew up with, with watching J. Jonah James. I make it page eight and give him 10% off. Okay. I make it 5%. That can't be done. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. It's so fast. It's yeah. so fast. No, his cadence it, is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the cadence I think about with J. Jonah James. I love... I love this, man. And as far as I'm concerned, no one's been able to, to top that. I just love how he just talks down to everybody. But still, you know, I mean... It's that whole thing with the grumpy boss, the mean boss with a heart of gold, man. Yeah, yeah, he has yeah. That. because yeah, there's a moment later where his life is threatened and he can you totally know, sell out Peter Parker and he doesn't do it. And the funny thing about that, because he's been talking shit to everybody, and Green Goblin said, "I ain't everybody. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll choke your ass out." What are you, his lawyer? Get out of here! Huh? Hmm? Jay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jameson, yeah. you slime. Uh -huh. Talk that shit to me. <laughs> no. I love the way his hair is going on. Oh, up. I know, yeah. Those wingtips. Those wingtips, yeah. <laughs> no, he loves making those explosive entrances, yep. man. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Speaking of the Green Goblin, man, mm. uh, Willem Dafoe is, is awesome as Norman Osborn, man. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. He ain't got those waves, you know. That's one. That's one thing he's missing. <laughs> they could never do that. Yeah, oh man, that's like get him a do rag. I mean, I'm wondering if they tried it and it just went like this. Just looks too silly. No, at yeah. first I was even almost saying, "Hey, look, man, maybe get a black dude to play No <laughs> Osborne <laughs> with some have him introduce him with a do rag on it. <laughs> got them waves going, man. So we ain't got that. So you know, not 100 comic book accurate, but I mean everything else. Norman Osborne, you know. uh, Played by Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe is just everything else, man. Yeah. He, he has it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because uh, uh, I look at it, I like the, uh, I think people were saying this, me included, at the time they, we heard they, he was cast as the Green Goblin. Mm -hmm. Everybody was like, well, shit, he's a goblin in real life. <laughs> yeah, yep. I know. Why, why put a mask why on put, him? Why put a mask on him? That <laughs> scared the shit out of me when I watched yeah, this today. That whole sequence oh, is, oh, oh, is yeah, it's exactly. Like, oh, 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 when he's going like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that his, his no, that, that whole sequence is a horror movie. Yeah. That, that, yeah, 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 man. When that happened, I had on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching this last night, and I had, I had on earbuds. And I, I was sitting next to me while she was doing something. She had on ear, earbuds too. And when that shit happened. It, Oh, she's like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> but boy, that face right there. You see that face, kiss Ooh. your ass goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. It really cemented with me like, Norman was already a little bit disturbed. Sure. No, oh, he yeah. Was. I, mean, yeah. I mean, he's trying to be a good guy, but he's yeah. also a dick. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. just normally. Mm -hmm. And that goblin formula oh. just pushed him way over. Yeah, just pushed him way over. over. Emphasize those negative traits. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you notice, he gave him those... Uh, he getting those dead eyed eyes, like those. Yeah. Like, he getting those evil dead eyes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very much dead eyed eyes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. I like just to say I like to see before that because I think it felt like Defoe. It was like a natural reaction when they put the contraption. Oh, like, yeah. oh it's cold. Oh, he's, 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 yeah. 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 And the way he says so delicately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh cold. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> maybe I think laughing would put that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that. Yeah. Maybe that was a real yeah, take. It felt. Hmm. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a bunch of places in here where I was like, yeah. I bet he ad libbed that, and they were like, Yeah, just go with it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah here it, it is. is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cold. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> just, he's like, Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, that's cold. <laughs> You're like, Damn, you got my bitch, yeah, ain't you? Yeah, yeah. Man, you know what you're about to get in there. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. There's moments in here where he actually, because he plays James Franco's father, you know, yeah. Harry Osborn. There's moments in here where he, when he smiles, he actually kind of looks like he could be James Franco's father. Like that looks Either. like that. Like, he, and I love that because he would be looking like that, at, looking at a chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, girl. You know, things don't work out between you and Harry. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a reason why they do it here, but yeah, I actually enjoy watching him outside of the costume because Willem Dafoe is having so much fun playing mm -hmm. this character. So many good things all happening for you, all for you. 
Yeah! <laughs> cha 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 cha! Who loves you, baby? Goblin does! Just saunter. Yeah! yeah. Strut! I love it! <laughs> Lay through that glass! <laughs> ah. <laughs> no! You know what I mean, baby? A lot of times, I'm sure that Willem Dafoe was not in the costume mm. when he was doing it. Oh, yeah. So That's the true. person has to, like, really go in and overdo, like, the body language. Sure. And there's times here, man, where it just. The dude in the costume, he's overacting so much, it just it just gets goofy, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boink. The, the costume, he felt it was so restrictive on sure, him. Uh, but sure. he felt like, I still want to do the body language of the goblin. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, somebody hit in the chat right there. They said, it looks like, looks like Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. Oh, everybody. There's the Green Ranger. Ranger. I surrender. Thank <laughs> you. Boy, <laughs> yeah, that poor dude. Right? Kill that guy. It's like a Rube Goldberg yeah. machine. It's not even like the guy got, not so much the guy got hit and probably got killed. Like he just looked stupid when oh, it happened. Right, too. right. I liked it more, more when he was uh, mysterious, when he wasn't fully revealed yet. Sure. Like when, he, when he's kind of mysterious and just a dick. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, he could be a huge dick. Yeah. That, that whole uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, like, yeah. I'll give that a little bit. But this right here, this, 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 this thing right here where he's a. Uh, they're trying to test out this this uh, a, a, a competing company, oh, a yeah, rival yeah. company is trying to test out another suit, and uh, this that poor dude who's testing out that suit ain't got nothing to do with this. He just went in there laughing, <laughs> destroyed that dude. Oh my God! He's coming here. <laughs> yeah, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't be mad at him there. No. Because he was, you know, he was getting dicked over. He was. In the worst ways possible. Oh, yeah. I just feel bad for the... I just feel bad for the dude in the in, uh, sure. in the suit he's trying out. But that general, no, fuck him. And I, I, I like that he went out screaming like a bitch. <laughs> because, because before, he was talking shit. Oh, yes, talking was. mad shit. Yeah, it was blame, you know, nothing would please me more than to see Norman Osborn be put out of business. Nothing would please me more than to put Norman Osborn out of business. Mm -hmm. Man, look at you, and look at you now. <laughs> I love how crazy the Green Goblin is in this, but he's no match for the Green Chef. Misery, misery, misery. That's what you chose. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Martin wants to do this to me right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, <Martin! laughs> nah, people, I gotta tell you about, gotta tell you about something here about our sponsors, man. Gotta tell you about one of our sponsors here who's helping bring us, helping to bring us to you this Spider-Man review right now, and that is Green Chef. Because the Green Chef got those healthy meals that'll help you beat the Green Goblin's ass any day. I hope so. I don't think the Green Goblin actually he eats that healthy. He's a fool. <laughs> but you've heard me talk about HelloFresh. And this is uh, uh, something that is owned by HelloFresh right here, Green Chef. Now, nothing different has changed that much. You still got convenient and easy meals that you spend less time making and cleaning up the kitchen, you know, you, that you enjoy more eating and eating with your family and friends. Uh, you know, the, they, they still have a lot of variety of food for you, as you can see right here. I think they offer about 24 changing recipes to choose from and mix and match and customize so you never get bored with the stuff that you're making. Uh, and they still pre-portion the meals and deliver them right to your door, so it's still very, very convenient in that way. Oh, uh, but this time, this time they have more options for you. They have a, a little more variety here. You know, they uh, they have here healthier choices and lifestyles. They got lifestyles, lifestyle meals that include people who are vegetarians, people who want to stay fit, all the vegans out there, even those people who are on that that paleo diet out there. Gluten-free for some people, too. Mm -hmm. Want to get on that Mediterranean? They've got that for you, too. They got the Medi Mediterranean? They got mm. the Mediterranean, oh, I too. I jump on that. Yeah, man. And these meals are still fun to cook. You know, that was the biggest thing that I was trying to tell you. You know, you can spend time like I do with my wife. I'll tell you, Hello Fresh. we did uh, date nights with these, and Green Chef will allow us to do the same thing. 
because as I said, the meals come pre-portioned, and we're able to go in and cook together. Because I tell you, she cooks way better than me. So <laughs> she just looks at me like I'm just, like I'm just challenged, <laughs> like I, like I'm food challenged, just trying to make these meals. Uh, looking sorry, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but you make a mean hot pocket. Though. Yeah, I oh, do, man. man. <laughs> Put me on that microwave. <laughs> but that's not what we're doing right here, man. Uh, you can still impress people with your culinary skills. I told y'all, now I'm, I'm a guy, so I'm talking to the guys out there. Uh, you got a date coming up, you know, get on one of these uh, meal preparations right here and impress them. Impress them with your cooking skills. You know, a lot of women love it. And I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't fix it before they get there. Let them see it's still cooking when you sure, come in. Sure. Yeah, let them see you throw that apron on. Get it halfway, smooth. turn everything off. Then when they show up, you turn it back on. It's, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. But here's what's really going to appeal to you right now. I'm giving you a massive deal right here with this. Some of you heard me talk about this before, and some of you have tried it, and some of you, you're still waiting for that moment. Well, I think the moment's going to be now because I'm going to get you $130 off. What? $130 mm -hmm. off your order of Green Chef. This is how you do it. Go to greenchef.com forward slash toasted130 and use the code toasted130 to get $130 off your next meals, and plus free shipping. Oh, dude. Let, let me spell that for you. G-R-E-E-N-C-H-E-F dot com forward slash toasted 130. And the code is T-O-A-S-T-E-D. And that's the number 130, 130 to get $130 off your next shipment of Green Chef. Plus free shipping. You about to say something, I think, I believe. Oh, no, I was going to say, a lot of times I'll see a, a good offer online but then the shipping is the deal killer. Yeah. But free shipping, you got me. Yeah. Yeah. So all of you who want to sit out there and eat healthier, you've been planning on doing that, but you think it's too hard. You got to make these meals, and they take a long time to make. And like, no, 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 no. You know, Green Chef makes it easy for you. So the time is now, and the time is right. And the best thing about it, you got the, you got the peace of mind knowing that you made that food yourself. Take pride in what you do, and take that $130 off right there by going to greenchef.com forward slash toasted and use the code toasted130 to get $130 off. I want to thank Green Chef for sponsoring this portion of the show, and I want to thank you out there for supporting us. Um, so I'm not saying that this movie is, is bad or I guess really terrible at one point or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I do think I like the origin parts just a little bit better, you know. It's like with a lot of superhero movies that, that everything with the humans is really good, and then you get to the superheroics. And sometimes it works really well, and sometimes it gets kind of corny, or yeah. just things where you're like, all right, I got to accept that as part of it. Yeah. yeah. It's just that the origin story is just a lot of fun. I mean, I think, again, they get it right. And I think some of the liberties they took with it, because as we talk, we're talking about how comic accurate this is, but they took some liberties that I don't mind with that. Um, you know, right from where so I, I love it this origin story right from where Peter got bit man mm -hmm. I love the way that that pipe Peter must got that sweet blood boy <laughs> <laughs> out of all the people in the room that spider went to him well he was standing right under it yeah, yeah. That's when that because that spider smelled it you're like mm -hmm. man we got a sweet ass <laughs> <laughs> easy target he looks yeah. weak <laughs> yeah all that people in there he singled out Peter and went down and had himself a nice snack Ooh. Boy, he went in on he went, I, in he on, went deep. He yeah. went in on him like Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Put them fangs on him like a vampire, man. Uh, now, even the origin story has some questionable moments for me. And I, you know what I'm talking about. We talked about this earlier. We talked about some people talked about this ever since the movie came out. Uh, so here's my confusion right here. So you just you just got bit by a radioactive spider. Leaves a golf ball on your wrist. <laughs> Leaves a big old snowball on the back of your pus-filled blister on the back of your hand right there, and you don't tell anyone. You don't. You don't. You don't say, "Hey, call a doctor. I've been, I've been bitten by a radioactive spider." They told you these spiders weren't normal <laughs> in the office, and it ain't like you just go in and just go to bed. It ain't like Peter didn't know how serious it was. Hey, how you doing, buddy? How was the field trip? Uh, I don't feel well. I'm going to go to sleep. Had a bite. 
<laughs> like you said, I had a bite. You don't want to say, hey, maybe I want to call 911 or take me to the emergency room. I mean, we were talking about this earlier. Maybe they're so poor they can't afford good health care. They don't have health insurance. Not, but he could have come in just feeling kind of woozy, and then it got so much infinitely worse as he went up the stairs. As we established earlier, he was going to jerk off that afternoon, and God damn it, he was going to do it. <laughs> yeah, one way or another, <laughs> he did I got not these care. <laughs> I do not care. This is going to happen. That spider had that good shit. <laughs> oh, yes, it did. <laughs> Boy, he, he changed his DNA. Boy, he went up there because he was tripping balls. Man, that's why he didn't want to tell nobody. You're like, shit, it's kind of good. <laughs> it's like he need more of that spider. Yeah, yeah. He's on, he's on that spider shit, yeah. man. He, he went up there and he's had back a, at the lab the next yeah. day. Yo, man, you got any more of them hey, spiders? In? What, that spider here? I need to take some pictures for the school newspaper if you don't mind. Yeah, man. Where's he your went, camera? Oh, you know, I just keep scoping it out. Yeah, he went up there and had himself a good trip. <laughs> He had one of them Tim Burton nightmares, man. <laughs> Going up there looking at that spider like Gator. Where that spider at? No, I don't want that goddamn tarantula. Where that spider at? Ain't no other spiders around here, Peter. I'm telling you, man. What's he going to set the jack off? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is something I, I thought about you. I'm watching oh, this. good. Oh, oh. Watching oh. this part. Not right. about him jacking off, but right. I don't know. Now I am. Why you put it that way? But, uh, but I like the changes they did with Peter uh, when he started transforming, man, which was the very next day. Yeah. Because uh, I love that the webs came from uh, came from his wrist and not shooters, man. Yeah. For one, it just looked nasty. It's I body mean, horror. Just out there. Yeah. See, that's, that's no. you going to say them words right there. And it is body horror, man. Like it's gross. <laughs> like, his, like he's got like these damn uh, uh, scars on his wrist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting yeah. to jack off with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. <laughs> That's so sad the second yeah. one. Yeah, you got, bar you got barbed wire coming out of his fingertips, yeah. man. And I always thought when I was looking at this today, I was like, it'd be funny if they actually did a horror movie. Like, he's having sex with Mary Jane and just starts ripping flesh off her oh, back. And I was like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I looked at that and I was like, man, that's going to kill somebody. Yeah, no, it's a little Cronenberg in there. A little bit of a, like Jeff Goldblum's The Fly. But I do like how his Spidey sense works, man, in here. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody loved that scene when Flash threw a punch and uh, he it went in slow motion. <laughs> You're like, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that was a cool fight scene, too. Oh, I'm, yeah, very much. The whole, like, oh, I'm scared of you. Yeah, you know, I love that fight. Nothing. I love that fight scene right there. It's all yours, man. Get your bitch ass out of here. <laughs> I don't need you. Well, even Harry. She's like, Harry, help him. He's like, oh, who? Man, who? 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, which one? Get your ass out of here. Even the teacher's like, God damn. <laughs> Drops off. He's like, you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> he just got through watching Friday. Been waiting to use that line all day. <laughs> You know, I mean, listen, Flash should actually be dead, too. Oh, his sternum cracked. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, he should be, he should have a hole in his stomach with Peter up there with bloody fist. You can only assume uh, that his full strength hasn't kicked in. Mm. At, like, it doesn't until toward the end of the movie. Yeah, when he's yeah. fighting Goblin. Yeah. I love, some, it, <laughs> some people were talking about, because I saw, I saw uh, a little bit of this documentary. And some people said, you know, do you know the time that we finally realized that Abercrombie and Fitch was really douchey? When we saw Flash Thompson wearing oh. <laughs> <laughs> his bitch ass. Cause he's that cause Flash Thompson in here, man, like he's he's so not the Flash in the comics. Like he's still he's, he's a goomba. He's, yeah. yeah, he's a he's, yeah. he's he's Jersey Shore, man. Yeah, yeah. He's a Jersey Shore dude. Spike gelled hair. Yeah. Wearing that Abercrombie and Fitch. Like there's a documentary and this guy, like, yeah, we stopped. We stopped wearing that shit after we saw Spider-Man. <laughs> you know, the wrestling stuff here is really cool, man. I love that's one of my favorite scenes oh, in here. Um I love them. Yeah, I love that too, man. I love I, I mean, that's such a great scene. I mean, you've got this. It kind of sums up Spider-Man for me too. Like, Spider-Man never gets any respect. Like, this is a dude who's about to like he's got superpowers. He can beat everybody's ass in this room, probably. And people still don't respect him. Like when he tells him his name, he's like, that sucks. And one dude's like, get Get out the moron. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man. My name's the human spider. Get out there, you moron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, even then, Peter Parker was being a dick still. Well, everybody was like, telling him, like, looking at him like, what, what are you doing? Because yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I forgot Octavia Spencer yeah, was the right. one to check everybody yeah. in. Wow. And she's like, 
All right, it's your funeral, dumbass. God be with you. She's like, like say, God be with you. <laughs> yeah, Octavia Spencer was in this, man. She's uh, yeah, she's great in this. I, 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 for, I forgot too. I forgot that she was in this. Did not know at all. Um, but I love, I, I love that. Uh, I love that scene. And uh, this is still when everybody was like going crazy, knowing that Macho Man Randy Savage was going to be in this. Bones. Well, it was one, you know, you had him do the, the wrestling thing in the comics, mm -hmm. but this updated it to how we think of wrestling now. Yeah. The no, culture around wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> like, you all think this yeah. is real? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all really into this, Well, what you? was cool wow. about it is in the beginning, uh, Peter was kind of getting his ass because he, don't, he didn't know what he was doing. He's he was inexperienced. Ah. <laughs> all right, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> I got to cut loose. It's funny, though, because... Everybody's talking about the 20th anniversary of, uh, of, of, of Spider-Man today, and so now everybody's kind of looking at it again through today's eyes. And, of course, we have to talk about the, the joke up in here that was told. Oh, let me see here if I can find it. You know, the, what everybody called the, the homophobic joke, <laughs> uh, which, you know, it's funny watching this again, and I don't, I don't mean anything to offend anybody that that is gay uh who took offense to the joke but really watching this again is like man it was such a light yeah, game it's, it's nobody no meant if you look at the movie it's like no one really meant anything homophobic about no, this no. no they did not no. and it's it's just the lightest of trash talk that's a cute outfit did your husband give it to you no! <laughs> Matter of fact, he did! <laughs> How dare you make fun of the love of my life? Yeah. I mean, for all we know, his husband did give it to him. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why he's pissed. Yeah. Come here, you. Yeah, he was great in this, though, man. Yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage. Mm -hmm. Bonesaw is ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and people talk about Bonesaw canceled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was. Yeah. Spider Man did the counseling, mm -hmm. though. Man, I watched this today, or last night, rather, and it still feels awkward when they introduce Macy Gray. Welcome to Oscorp Industries Unity Day Festival. Let's hear it for Macy Gray. And that's because it feels like it doesn't feel like a movie now. It's obvious that they are promoting the yep. studios promoting a, a, a musical act. It feels like when a talk show is uh, promoting a musical guest. She looked drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was always Macy Gray. Baby. <laughs> well, oh, it's <laughs> She's like walled eyed right now, with okay. the glasses on, and she can't see it. Like, where am I? Honestly, you find any footage of her where she doesn't look drunk or high. I, I, I dare you. It looked like she's, she could barely hold herself up with that microphone stand. Yeah. <laughs> Macy's coming up. Shit. People just fuck, moving out the way. <laughs> she had a contract with Sony at the time. That's why yeah, she's yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's no, obvious. No, it's, what it's it is. obvious because you could take this part with her out, and it doesn't change a single thing about the movie. No, you know the movie. I'm talking about how they, they, it feels like a package studio blockbuster. The movie even starts to feel a little goofy at this point. That's the same place where we get like the uh, the Green Goblin talking about I surrender. But some of the effects even get uh, they haven't aged well. No. They got that part where, the, like, when the Green Goblin killed, killed the, the, the board of directors. The board of directors. Out am I? <laughs> <laughs> After being kicked out for being too crazy. <laughs> turn, uh, turn into party city skeletons. That's exactly what this Turn them like. into Halloween decorations. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, that did not that did not age very well, right there. Spooky. It was, it was goofy skeleton. at the time. It was. Yeah, it, it was, was just so like. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess today. <laughs> Shit, let's, let's hang him up on our, our yard for Halloween. <laughs> I mean, he worked on some very specific pumpkin yeah. bombs. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. none of the other ones do that later on no, the movie. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't, because every time he throws one after that, you're like, oh, shit, is Peter Parker going to turn to a skeleton? He's like, oh, no, he just blew half his face yeah, off. Yeah, it just blew his mask up. Mm. These fools out here. <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, y'all deserve this shit. Oh, yeah, oh no. Yeah. I like, he threw the he threw the spook house bomb at the yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Ah! <laughs> I mean, make their clothes yeah, everything. everything. <laughs> well, Norman, that's why we're selling the company out from under you. I don't blame him. You know, that like that whole board had it coming. Especially Mr. Coffee right oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, because this dude, this this dude, he he had his he was way too smug with his yep. with yeah. that with that one sip. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was man, he had it coming. He was thing is he that dude 
That dude wasn't even thirsty, man. He, that was just his way of saying "fuck you" in a kid's oh, yeah. movie. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the final absolutely. thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the cup was probably empty at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to put a period on that sentence. Yeah, yeah. pregnant pause. There's mm. nothing even in this cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a. It's full of. You. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him for that. The mom, the mom, he did that like, man, you got it coming. Yeah. The effects didn't age well, even though some of these guys had, have it coming. The people got got dumber, like the idiot right here. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> like, I wouldn't even save that kid. That kid's going to die anyway. Yeah, yeah, his fight or flight instincts, they're yeah. not kicking in at all. That kid's going <laughs> to get hit by a car. Or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's going to... Poison himself yeah. and glue or something. Yeah, he, that kid's dead anyway. Yeah. They got that one there, the montage. I love. <laughs> now I love this dude right here. The one he just, he just this man, your boy right here. Oh, yeah, right just says straight up. You know what? He stinks. He stinks, and I don't like him. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, comedian, Jim Norton. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. I love that. Uh, he stinks, <laughs> and I don't like him. But uh, I like that one. But he, you know what? You mentioned this. Sam Raimi does this a lot. Where he does these real corny reaction shots where people just like, like you had the kids are talking about wicked cool. Yeah. This goes back to the first Spider Man. Just had one dude just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> do a flip Spider Man, <laughs> yeah. The movie just becomes sort of just. It's still cool, but it's just it's just a superhero movie at this point. Now back in the day. It was a little bit more because everybody was looking forward to something like this. Today, you know, we look at it. We've seen so many movies. It does, that's the part I would say. It's quaint. Having, yeah. You just haven't aged greatly. No, it's 20 years old. It's so overdramatic. The moment when uh, he he did it again. You talk about he loved to make that interest when. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when, when, uh, when, oh, when Green Goblin busted. Oh, with Aunt May. He's oh. waiting wait for Aunt May to start praying. You know, he's, you know he sat outside just oh, waiting yeah. for her. He's yeah. waiting for her to t- take a shit and start praying. <laughs> he busted in when this woman was praying. But deliver us. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> that poor woman didn't even let her get to amen. Come on, man. Rosemary Harrison in this scene, the one immediately after, I mean, she she matched D- Defoe's yeah. like at 11, just the craziest. Those eyes! Oh, she did. <laughs> From you! She had her ass get, it was It's over dramatic. I like the oh, entrance, I but it. I thought I this love was. It. I thought this was a little corny. It didn't work it for is. me. I laughed at it, but this is a part of the movie that was like, damn, I'm kind of cringing right here. Deliver us! <laughs> He's laughing at Now I love him. He's, that fits him. Damn, she sounded like she sound like Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just, hey, that's right. <laughs> Finish it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, it, listen, it's it's so goofy and over the top. I can't help but just kind of like love it for that. Yeah, yeah right. You know, I just, I'm sorry. I, I can't help it. I love it, but for the wrong reasons. I, I understand. Uh, I'm totally with you. I like because mm-hmm. I'm laughing my ass off. It's at so this. funny. Actually, I remember back in the day, kind of rolling my eyes. But today, I was laughing my ass yeah. off at mm-hmm. at that poor woman on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> But, but that gets cool all the time. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> yeah, I love that line. Deliver <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> all right, shit. I, I do love it when he's just, again, just being a, 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 an asshole, man. Mm-hmm. He's just being a, a, like a dick about things. And the funny thing, he always gets Peter, man. Yeah, when he yeah. lured Peter into that fire. Yeah. But he's yeah. telling him. Woo, woo, <laughs> he got his ass good. <laughs> got him! <laughs> yeah, he's sucker for his day, man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was a sh- gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> that was a horror movie jump scare. And that. That that scream was still going. Oh, too. I know. Yeah, the I don't scream. see, man. I don't think that was horror. I thought that was comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little of both. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I laughed my ass off. That's some Three Stooges shit going it on. Because it's a jump scare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I see the jump when he's screaming. Mm-hmm. Oh God, him. Got you, bitch. <laughs> what does hold up though and keeps it going? They got some real great character moments in sure, there yeah. outside of the superhero stuff mm-hmm. because it's the superhero stuff that feels more generic at this point. The, the, when uh, everybody's out of costume, they don't forget to like keep the characters going. As, as, as human beings and, and, the, and the story that's been going on with these characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because 
a lot of movies do that. When they get to the superhero part, mm-hmm. they just kind of forget the characters. Character man. development dies. Yeah. But here, they're, they're dynamic, and they keep changing. Relationships mm-hmm. change. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah man. Uh, like, I love this scene right here. Uh, <laughs> with uh, I love how they take their time developing the relationship with Mary Jane and Peter. You know, I think that they build that up well, man. Took the, They took that time to build up the romance where they kind of run into each other. Because it feels like how the relationships are, man. Yeah. You just keep running to each other. You know, you have this kind of synchronicity going on where it's like, oh, well, this still feels like it should be more. But, you know, you don't notice at first. You want to take it slow, even be friends. And that's what uh, that's what's happening right here. So you're acting now? <laughs> yeah. But you always short $6. Next time that happens, I'm going to take out your check. He's like, you lying, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Every time with, with, with her, it's, there's always these situations where he's like, man, your life is shitty, and I don't yeah. want to... I don't even want to bust you. I, I I feel bad that I'm here watching this. I I, I <laughs> laugh my ass off when that when that man came out that diner. And Peter just got like, you nah, come on. Mm. You're living your dream, girl. Yeah. You draw with short six dollars. Next time that happens, I'm gonna take out your check. He, he look yeah, even like you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I'll have a I'll have a cheeseburger with a side up. You lying bitch. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I didn't believe your ass anyway. <laughs> I was just being nice. I also like that they didn't put too much drama in. When, you know, Peter finds out that Harry's dating Mary Jane, you know, they make this a big soap opera. You know, shit, uh, Peter was just kind of like, yeah, shit, I, I, I messed up. I had a chance. I blew it. I fucked up. You know, and then he, he left it at that. You know, he never made a move. You're right. I didn't. Thing is, Peter ain't worried about it anyway. Because he know he got that shit. <laughs> Ever since Spider-Man came up, yo, he said it's, it's only a matter of time. The moment that Mary Jane met Spider-Man, she was ready to drop Harry Osborn right oh, then and true. there. Do you want to get to say thank you this time? That's about enough right there. Shit! <laughs> 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 <Yes! laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, I'm sorry. I got a cold. Trying to suck on chin and yeah, everything. Yeah, she was like, mm-hmm. 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 Spider-Man take it good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like the slow motion because that says she's ready to give up that ass right <laughs> then and there. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you, 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 you. <laughs> One of the most iconic kisses in films. I it guess. is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although I have to say, whoever was in charge of Kristen Dunst's wardrobe, shame on you. Oh, I know. Because I, I mean, know. apparently, no bras yeah. <laughs> throughout yeah. the trilogy. <laughs> Constantly, those nipples are just Man, the entire time. Yeah. But that Thanksgiving scene, though. Uh, I love that Thanksgiving scene. Like, if you talk about what really holds up the second half, that's one of my favorite scenes. Oh, There's yeah. so much going well, on. All in of there. the choreography with him just coming in the window and trying to hide. And yeah, hiding from Harry. I mean, from uh, Norman Osborn trying to, to mm-hmm. trying to cut, like, trying to cover uh, uh, his blood, knowing that Norman Osborn can even sense that. Someone has been eating strawberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> That, that is, is some, not blood. That is some thick blood. That is yeah. some thick red blood. <laughs> hmm, yeah. What that spider that do to you? It's like some Sherman Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit looked like it came well, off of a. Maybe that's how spider blood is. I, I suppose so. We don't know what it usually <laughs> it is. It didn't look so. like that on his arm. Yeah. That shit looked like it came from a wax candle. Yeah. yeah. You ever seen movies where they like seal a letter with wax and then yep. stamp it? Yeah. That's yep. what that looks like mm-hmm. right there. Dude, they're all beautiful. Until they're snarling after your trust fund like a pack of ravening wolves. Damn. She like, damn, my boyfriend's a bitch. He <laughs> <laughs> said that shit loud. Yeah. Said, he, and that's the thing, I can see why, even before Spider Man came into the picture, she was ready to leave this dumbass. Mm. Harry with his dumbass, coming and just asking some of the dumbest questions. It ain't doing nothing to help his girl. Thanks for sticking up for me, Harry. You heard? The door was wide open, <laughs> stupid ass. Of course, everybody heard. Everybody on the floor heard. <laughs> Shit, everybody, everybody. It was in, echoing. Yeah, everybody in the city heard. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you heard that? I love how Harry thought, or Norman thought, he, was, he thought he was going to have to cut Aunt May. Norman, will you do the honors? Oh, is Norman going to have to cut a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a bad habit of slapping people's fingers. Yeah. She yes. does that in Spider Man 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's slapping fingers about to catch these hands. Right? Yeah, she's a little physical. Yeah. Mom was like, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why he busted in on her later. Exactly, like, yeah. Um, you better be looking at this, fla- this mm-hmm. flavor of my fingers right now. <laughs> I love what Marge said. Yeah, you, yeah, you know what? I'll, uh, 
I'll see you tonight. <laughs> yeah, you want, you want to, yeah, you want to, you want to slap hands. Yeah, slap this right here. You remember that shit? <laughs> yeah, I slap this window. Right this is what it felt like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to slap, motherfuckers, huh? There's a lot of stuff here that could just make this. Uh, if it didn't have that, the second half really would feel like, man. This is kind of a, just, you know, it's a good, but not special superhero movie. Because we look at the effects and we look at all the, you know, the sure. costumes and yeah. CGI and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we, we think that's what really makes this. And it's not, man. These characters have to have mm -hmm. some dimension before you start accepting them as superheroes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will be just soulless special affl effects flying on the screen. That's sure. why some of these movies have failed, right, like this. Uh, I will say, though, at the end, I like how Peter was getting his ass whooped, and then at one point he said, you know what, I'm tired of your <laughs> shit. Yeah, at the point where Norman's like, and after I beat the shit out of you, I'm going after your girlfriend. And it was like, okay, I've been letting you get licks on me, but that, you ain't doing that. He got tired of his shit to the point where he... <laughs> He just, he said, fuck trying to look cool. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring a wall down on your ass. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought we were playing. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. I ain't got Kill time him. for this shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've, been, I've, been, I've been playing with you and playing with you, and wow. I'm gonna bring this wall down on your ass. Um, and I love how Norm is so crazy, end up just playing himself at the end. Godspeed, Spider Man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's having bad luck with walls today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those scenes are fun, but really, again, if they, you know, wouldn't mean anything if uh, before that we didn't have all these human interactions, even with uh, even small things like you know Norman being just really shitty at dinner. Uh, but you know, the end. I love where this ends. I mean, we have more movies coming up where we know that. Mary Jane and Peter are gonna get together, but I really love in this where it starts out. He's talking about the girl of my dreams, and you, everybody went through this movie thinking like, "Oh, they're in the comics, you know, in the comics they're together." He's like, "Of course they're gonna be together at the end." And I love and that she loves him, and yeah. he's been loving her, and this is where they get together. Well, and, because he loves her, that's why he has to turn her down. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, and the way he turned it down, it was you know, it was, it was a little painful knowing that he's been aching for this girl through the whole movie and finally gets his chance to have her, mm. but he can't do it because he, and this kind of sums up the theme of Spider-Man in the comics. Most of the time, Spider-Man is a curse for this kid. Sure. He suffers. Yeah, he suffers. He can't have anything. People are dying around him because of that. He, I mean, those he's, are the worst. He can't he's trying to be that. responsible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he can't even use his powers to be rich or anything. He's working, some, you know, shitty jobs, shitty jobs shitty all the jobs. time. So to have to turn down Mary Jane at the end of the movie, it's like, wow, man, that kind of stings a little bit. That's all I have to give. Well, she was waiting too. Like, man, you know I'm fine. You ain't gonna turn this down. <laughs> yeah, she's waiting on him to have a change of heart, and that's that's great the way these they drew this out. Sam Raimi is he, and he's made a dramatic movie. Uh, it was a thriller actually. It was. Uh, Oh, I forgot. I had, uh, Simple Plan. Simple Plan. Oh, yeah, Simple Plan. Yeah. yeah, so he's great with actors, man. Maybe not kids so much, but with actors. I was surprised he hasn't made more dramas because, man, it's stuff like that, again, that makes this movie just kind of rise above superhero films. And it hit her, too, later. Like, this bitch just turned me down. <laughs> I had anybody. I well, have what made me wonder is, does he have a special thing he does with his tongue? Because she's almost like she's like, wait, he kissed me the same way Spider-Man did. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he must flick it back yeah. and forth or something. Or maybe got, moving around in there. Maybe yeah. got barbs on his tongue. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my bleeding? What the hell is that? <laughs> or maybe she's just kind of like, don't nobody turn down Mary Jane. I, I always read it as she remembered the kiss. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. No, I kind of remember it. I think everything is kind of sinking in, like the yeah. kiss and... Also, it's just the way he phrased things, and she's yeah. like, "Hey, wait a minute!" You know, you also sound like him too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's a number of places where the the, the people aren't so dumb because Norman Osborn is constantly going like, "Hold on a second. Yeah, he figures it out. There's yeah. a lot of shit. It's this is too much to be a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, he sees the cut in his arm, which is what his little battering did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I knew it was like with the kiss and whatnot, but I still like to look at it like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just like, like this motherfucker turned me down. Hey! <laughs>